What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So a couple of months ago, I was doing videos talking about grade your lawmaker. So what I was doing is talking about lawmakers and how they felt about a social security increase and social security reform. So we were looking at some video clips of them talking about social security and how either they support it or they don't support it or they support uh, raising the full retirement age and things like that. And then I would ask you guys to give them a letter grade and then I would do a separate video and then I would give them a letter grade and we talk a little bit about it. I'm going back to that. I want to do some videos like this because I, I've been kind of brainstorming how to roll this out. And I think the best way to do it is to go ahead and do these videos now and then a year from now. So let's say late October, early November of next year, we know that the, the election will be early November of next year. I can do a video where I incorporate all these different videos that we put together and we'll have letter grades for a lot of the different uh, politicians that are running for re-election. And so I think that's the best way to roll this out. And so we're gonna get back to that. Now, some of the people, now I was doing the, the presidential candidates like Mike Pence, he dropped out. And so when I start doing those, we're not going to revisit those. But people in the House, everyone in the House is running for re-election. So it's a, it's a good opportunity for us to see how they feel about Social Security. So I'm going to do the research and try to find out where they are when it comes to Social Security. Are they in favor of an increase? Are they in favor of reform? Are they in favor of cutting Social Security? So in this video, we're going to talk about Speaker Mike Johnson. How does he feel about Social Security reform? How does he feel about a Social Security increase? That's what's going to be in this video. But first off, if you guys can do me a favor, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification and clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and Threads, you can at the TEC Show Live. And just a reminder, I will be doing a follow-up video today when it comes to the Gaza War. So we're going to be following that story as well. Okay, let's go ahead. What I want to do is, first off, let's let's play the clip. So we have two clips to play. So let me play this one here. Roe v. Wade gave constitutional cover to the elective killing of unborn children in America, period. You think about the implications of that on the economy. We're all struggling here to, to cover the bases of Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid and all the rest. If we had all those able-bodied workers in the economy, we wouldn't be going upside down and toppling over like this. Listen, the gentleman I will not yield. I will not. Roe was a terrible corruption of America's constitutional jurisprudence. Okay, so although he was talking about Roe versus Wade, you saw he threw in Social Security and Medicare and how it's upside down and all that. Uh, the reality is Social Security and Medicare are not upside down. But you will see lawmakers put that out there like that because they're trying to influence the public. They're trying to let you see Social Security is a disaster, Medicare is a disaster. We need to either get rid of them or we need to have strong cuts to those programs. That's why they're laying it out like that. When the reality is, they're not upside down. Okay, let me play this clip, here we go. The safety net programs, but the reality is they're headed towards bankruptcy in just a few number of years, so security goes belly up. Uh, so does Medicare, Medicaid, all of these big spending programs because uh, we, we're, we're, we're drowning in debt. And so uh, we've gotta think about long-term reforms to those programs. Okay, so there was Speaker Johnson again. He's talking about going bankrupt or going belly up is what he's saying. Social Security is not going belly up. The trust fund will run out of money in 10 years if lawmakers don't do anything. But the program as a whole will still be around because you have people working, paying into the payroll tax. That payroll tax is going to the Social Security Administration in order to provide benefits for people who are currently receiving them. So the program is not going belly up. But as I stated with the last clip, lawmakers want you to believe that these programs will no longer be there or won't be there in 10 years. That way they can make deep cuts to the program. They can make deep changes because the average person, if they don't do the research, they're gonna say, well, either we're going to get a deeply cut social security, which I would prefer over not having social security at all, when the reality is the program will still be there. However, if the trust fund does run out of money, that would be a cut to Social Security benefits of about 23%. So lawmakers need to do something in order to fix that gap, but the program will still be around. Okay, now, so we've heard two clips from Speaker Johnson, and what I wanna do now is we I wanna report do a report card on him. So generally the way that I do this, and I think I'm gonna do it the same way I was doing it before, is I want you guys to give a letter grade in the comments below. 
and then I will do an average of that letter grade that you guys give. So A, B, C, D, uh, F, and we'll do, we'll do an average of that. And then I will come back, I'll do a separate video, and that separate video, we're gonna go over the results that I found from the comments, and then I will give a letter grade. But before I do that, I wanna look at certain categories to kind of figure out what the best letter grade would be for this person. Okay, so Speaker Johnson, when it comes to sponsoring a bill, we're gonna look at that. When it comes to supports and increase, we're gonna look at that. When it comes to supports reform, we're gonna look at that and supports cuts and then supports major cuts, okay? Some of these we might not know the answer to because lawmakers are very slick in not giving us details. Uh, they'll say we need reform, but they're not going to say what that reform is. And so some lawmakers will say, we, we wanna protect social security, but they don't tell us how they wanna protect social security because protecting the program could mean cutting the program. So in essence, allow the program to be prolonged for a longer period of time by making those cuts. So just because they're saying they wanna protect social security, doesn't mean they don't wanna make cuts because they can do both. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So first thing here, has he sponsored a bill, okay? He has not sponsored any bills that I know of. Okay, so we're gonna say no here. Does he support an increase? We're gonna say no. He hasn't talked about any increase for Social Security. He hasn't said that he uh, is a co-sponsor on any of these bills or anything like that uh, to, to provide an increase for Social Security. Does he support reform? I'm going to say yes here. And the reason why I'm going to say yes is because he is, in the past, he said that he supports reform. Obviously, he's talking about the program going belly up. We need major reforms to Social Security and Medicare. So we will say, when it comes to Social Security, he does support reform. Does he support cuts? Now, it was hard for me to find him actually say that he supports cuts to Social Security. But we do know that he supports raising the full retirement age to 70. So because of that, I'm going to say, yes, he supports cuts. Does he support major cuts to Social Security? This is where I'm putting a question mark because I don't know how far he wants to go. We've heard talk of raising the full retirement age to 70, but does he support major cuts, more cuts to Social Security? We don't know the answer to that question. And just so you guys know, raising the full retirement age to 69 or to 70, that is not enough. You're going to need to do more in order to prolong the program. So just raising the full retirement age is not going to be enough. Okay, so there's a report card. What I want you guys to do in the comments below, let me know what letter grade you think he should get when it comes to his support of social security reform, his support of a social security increase. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any questions, post them down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.